everybody, it's Rose from Cold Creek Dog Training. I wanted to talk to you today about box feeding. And box feeding is um, a really neat concept because it helps your dog get very focused and um, able to filter out the environment that's around him, which can lead to really good behavior in environments where there's a lot of stress and a lot of other activity going on. So we start by feeding your dog his meal in a tall cardboard box and what it does is the box actually filters out the environment around the dog just like blinders on a horse. So it's a really great way to build some focus and intensity so that the dog can learn to relax in situations that are stressful. As you go through the process of developing this skill, you'll want to feed your dog in different environments that cause him stress and also build up to putting a small um, target in the box, some type of lid like a uh, canning jar lid or a butter dish lid or something along that line because eventually you'll be able to do this concept without the box itself and just using the lid and by having your dog actually focus on and concentrate on that lid. And we'll show you how it's done in the upcoming videos. Hope you enjoy it and it's a really amazing technique. One thing that I really want to point out is you need to have your dog on a leash while you're doing this so that you can actually take the dog away from the box if his head comes out of the box. So it's very important that you don't take the box away from the dog which could build some anxiety and food stress and you definitely don't want to create any possible food aggression or anything like that. You want to just simply take the dog away on his leash, guide him out, and then come back and take the box up. So the idea is that when he breaks concentration and his head comes up out of the box, we end the exercise. And you end the exercise by taking the dog away from the box. All right? So that's really important to know. Thanks very much, and uh, hope you enjoy the demonstrations. That's crazy. Yeah, I can see that in the for sure. So, so we'll start with kind of putting, oops, get the heat chair. So I just want to drop a treat, let's see if I can get this in the video, by the box. So she gets a treat by the box. Oops, it fell in the box. It wasn't my intent. My first step is to drop it outside the box. And she's good with that, you can tell. And then I'm going to drop one kind of in the box. And I'm going to drop one like way in the box, so she has to stick her head way in. I'm going to do a couple of those. And then I'll turn it over. So it's a different view. Maybe I'll drop one on the outside again, and then I'll drop one inside. So when she's done like this, and she's like, I don't want to do it anymore, I oh, then I'm just going to take her away. You know, everything you're done, go get your one. And then I'm going to take the box away, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, that's kind of the steps of how you, how you build it. And then... Um, you can also just dump like her whole thing of food in here, like all of her kibble, and then she just eats it out of here. Oh, okay. And then when she stops, like she did, then just walk her away, and then pick up the box, and then you can do it again next time you would feed her. Okay. 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 So then I would dump the food out into the cup, and then dump it in so she gets the scatter of sure, it. You know? Sure, sure. Let me have a few more pieces sure. from you, and let's try some more of this. And she's wondering, like, what is this game? <laughs> she's not real sure about the box. Though. That's right. And that's why, so when she stops totally like that, I'm just going to take her away. And then I'm going to get the box, you know. So the idea is I don't want to take the box away from her if she might want to eat it sure, again. Because sure, sure. Um, but so anyway, as you build this, mm -hmm. um, it's really neat because it causes the dog to be able to focus, and eventually she'll eat out of it very readily. They always, sure. they always do. Um, and then you put that little target in there, and then you can see how like they can kind of transfer it. Mm -hmm. so she's gonna want it from my hand more so than. Mm -hmm. But here she just isn't eager enough. She needs more experience. So we go back to the outside of the box, and kind of build it. And the food in my hand is distracting her from the food in the box. So you have to kind of have it, you know, out of your pocket. Sure. So, so if you want to try this and, you know, just see how it develops with her, you know. So that I kind yeah. of should have taken it away. But well, now, now that she knows that, you know, you're not going to give it to her from her hand. Yeah. 
and then it's her head's in, so then see how we can just drop them in and see mm -hmm. them now. There's that little bit of spookiness in her that, you know how she like kind of reacted to the horses mm -hmm. and stuff that time? And I'm gonna give her this time, because she's still focused. And there, she's kind of done. So I'm gonna take her, I'm gonna take her away. Oops. There you go, good girl. <laughs> I like that. Now she's gonna lay on it. I know, a little box away. But that's the idea of it, so. Hold on. So it's kind of like, it's, it's like a target training. It is, yeah. Okay. And because, so the, the reason it's especially, especially successful is because the box creates those horse blinders. So you know how, and you've probably seen other places or, you know, like when you teach a target training thing where the dog goes to target, it's a reward. That's pretty simple. Sure. It's like a little win or a yellow marker usually sure. or something yeah. like that. So you're just like kind of starting it with this box idea so that the, the box itself creates that filter which is which amplifies the effect, you know. And the more they eat over that prolonged period of time of just, you know, one or two pieces, one or two pieces, mm -hmm. kind of dropping on their head like little raindrops that sure. clink, you know, clink in the box. Um, here, I'll go back to you. Um, it'll make a huge difference in her like level of concentration and stuff like that, yeah. you know. And, and that way you can take you know, that little lid to the vet's office or say you're going to take her maybe on a walk or something like that mm -hmm. and she starts to worry about something or get too excited or whatever, yeah. you get your lid out, put it down and she's yeah. like, oh, it's the lid and she stares at it and you plink little things of treats down on it, you know, yeah. and kind of yeah. build it. Well, I guess I should shut this off, huh? Huh. Minus the kibble that she ate last night, and I'm going to put it in the box. We're just going to wait her out here. Um, I can take this time to mention that you can use a regular cardboard box, of course. Um, it's nicer to have the sturdier wood boxes, but definitely a little cardboard box would work as long as it's in a proper size that the dog's head is hidden when it's eating the food. So she's turning away and not paying attention again. So I'm going to lower the criteria and I'm going to make this a little bit easier for her hopefully. I'm going to turn the box on its side and let's see if she'll go in and try to get some of that kibble out. So there we made it a little bit easier for her so that she can be successful. So these are things that you'll need to gauge as you're working with your dog and interacting. Um, we're showing you a really kind of laid back, uh, kind of anxious dog. She's super um, outgoing and confident and stuff when she kind of knows what's going on and she's familiar with the situation. But when something's new, she doesn't embrace it. So the dopamine chemical that's gonna come off while she's doing this exercise of eating in the box um, is gonna help her uh, just tremendously. So this is how she's gonna have her meal for this morning. And when she comes out of it like that, I'm gonna pick the box up and put it away. 
Okay, Violet, you ready? Yeah, okay. So here's our box. I just found an Amazon one. I wasn't, we didn't actually have any of the Costco ones. So putting her food in, I put the newspaper so it's a solid bottom. It's not like, really, okay, Violet, go ahead. Good girl. Last night she was having a little bit of trouble. Here, I'm gonna take her collar off. Cause I think the tags against the corner of the box freak her out. Okay, go ahead. Last night what I had to do was hold my hand in there and pick up pieces and she would eat off my hand and then she became comfortable eating out of the bottom of the box. But it seems like this morning she's having an easier time of it. She didn't eat her entire dinner last night but she did get most of it, so. Come on. Go ahead. Come on, Violet. so that as you progress with this, your hand is not as close to there. All right, I'm going to keep dropping and I'm going to stamp my foot this time. Wait till she puts her head in. Keep dropping. Very good. How about that? Yeah. Uh, okay, keep dropping. Only when her head's in. Yeah. I'm going to get the broom. So this is where it'd be helpful if it wasn't in your hand because that's yeah. the obedience mode. Oh. But careful that yeah, you don't, don't yeah, just, guide so, her in. Yeah, you, just wait it out. Right. And if you're patient enough to wait it, yeah. it'll work. She'll stare in there eventually. She'll do it. Yeah. There you are. See how she put her head mm -hmm. in at that moment and you just have to oops, watch her. That's okay. Bounced off her head. And you can always start her with a few pieces. So just keep dropping them consistently now. And then try to stand up a little bit more so your head is not quite as close. And then I'm going to start moving this around. And then uh, you did something where you were moving the basket. You moved the basket. Mm -hmm. Move with your foot. Yeah, and then this is where, like, 
because she's out mm -hmm. and done, we should take it away or we should take yeah. her away from it. So we should take, let's take her away. away. So, so if we make that a little bit clearer to her that, that in way. this game we don't sit and stare when we yeah. stare at the basket rather than stare at you. Uh, she I think it'll be a little bit clearer. Yeah. yeah, because that's just a missing piece in it, mm -hmm. I think, for her and her understanding because she could tell she's like, I don't really know exactly what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Do you want to practice that in itself? We'll practice you kind of taking her away. So the other thing that's important for this is when she gets to the point where she's really because what will happen is where she's just staring and driving to the mm -hmm. food and the lid in the basket. Um, when you want to end it, she, and she's not going to want to come away from it. She's not going to mm -hmm. turn away yeah. and sit and stare at you like this. She's going to, you're going to have to literally try to drive her away. So when she gets to that point, it's really important. I need mean, to do now that you end the exercise. You do your, mm -hmm. and then take her yeah. out like we're picking it up now. But let's try, if she sits again, let's just clearly take her away. Okay. And you know, just say nothing. Just so see if we can make that clear connection to her for what we expect in the routine here. Got so yeah, so come up and put a couple of pieces in again to get her started. She says, I found the spare. And you have enough in there to keep going for a bit? Uh yeah, let me try to reload a little bit, yeah. Oh, it's better to have more than one mm -hmm. I've been doing some for her lately, just because I like Perfect. To, I'm yeah, so into raw food right now. I'm yeah. so going back into the realm really? of it. Yeah. There's a person that delivers it to Gettysburg at the Sheets. Really? I'll send you the information. Yeah, back. please. That'd be fantastic. Because I go to the butcher up on Baltimore Pike there. Oh, okay. Do you know them? They're fantastic people. No. They're, it's uh -huh. locally raised um, animals, and they butcher it right there. Oh, that's perfect. Which is fantastic, because that's hardly anything anymore. Yeah. I mean, I'm vegetarian, but I'm like, oh, this is fantastic. I know. <laughs> so I don't have phases where I am, too. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm super hard hardcore and then I'm not and, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm like that but I just am I have been my whole life and I feel so much healthier and so on when she was looking inside yeah, and, go ahead. And, uh, and yeah and that was one of the reasons is because I won't buy from like a factory type thing where I would yeah. so did I take her and I know this is hard because there's yeah. a lot going on that's going on quickly. <laughs> so you're so the thing to keep in mind as far as training and all this and that is you're doing the best you can do with what you're working with, which is the best you can do. Mm -hmm. You know, because when she's in and out and in and out, it makes it super hard. Oh, yeah. So for some reason she comes out of it then, uh, you're gonna just clearly take her away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our goal for this isn't as much you know, the food in the basket around the mm -hmm. lid, or just so that when she stops, like they're taking Oh, like they're taking Yeah, away. but now it's too late because she's back in. So they're now. there taking away. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea of it. Mm -hmm. And then. No, you take her back up to her, she knows immediately to stare into the basket. Yeah, see there? That was the start of it right there. Mm -hmm. Just be a little bit more ready to catch okay. her. And there, take her away. Take her away. Because now she's like, oh, but the, uh, this is where you get it from. From your hand, from you, the person, you know. That's it. See that? Mm -hmm. And that just becomes that much clearer to her for whatever reason. And then the distractions, no matter what they are, take her away. The distractions. Uh, I know. That's just, a lot of sorry. It is what it is. You know. Mm -hmm. We all do. Stuff all the time is just part of training. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of like go with it and change it the next time. Go with yeah. it and change it the next time, and it just gets better and better. You know, go ahead and walk up again and try it again. Do you see how much clearer that mm -hmm. is already? Yeah, she's already getting it a little bit more. And I think if you put five or six lids in there, if you have them, you might as well put them in there, and then that way you'll have the painting sound, which will be really mm -hmm. helpful too. Because it's also. Hey, well, that's okay. She went back in. Um, that's also what I've been using. I have and all the lids because that's where I keep her. And stuff. You can even like kick it a little bit and keep kick it. You know, keep dropping the food. Then kick it, kick it. Oh, take her away. That's it. Clearness, clearness. Oh, super. Oh, and about the lady. That's okay. Oh, don't worry about and then, it. Just can we? Away. Since that is so much clearer, can we end with that right there? Yeah, sure. I think that's a good place to end. Cool. Um, because she was really like she was coming up to stare right in it. She does that. Mm -hmm. So think about what I said about Vera. I could fed her once from there. Yeah, she And knows. she goes, she comes in and she's like, to take the food in the box yeah. again? You know, but I can't give her, like, I could show that as an example in the video, but if you Google box feeding, you'll see a lot of that kind of dog, because that's where this, yeah. really a lot of it originates from. And then, 
like I said, I really tried to adapt it to fit for dogs that are, you know, going to be maybe possessive aggressive, especially, and dogs who are lower drive dogs who are afraid of things like a box, you know, yeah. which is so common, you know. Oh, and in, in our client group, uh, oh, uh, Jen Sobolewski posted this really cute thing of her cat in the box. Like oh, really? she's still struggling with her dog eating in the box, but that's mm -hmm. that's more of a relationship yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, the cat's in the box, and I'm like, this is so wrong, that is not what you're supposed to do, you know, because we literally put the food on a piece of cardboard to start that dog. Oh, that's what you were telling yes. me about, that was having yes. a hard time. Yeah, and she's still like, oh, she will only eat it outside the box, and I'm like, hmm, she's hungry enough, like, there's she's this, good. and that's that relationship thing of yeah. somehow the dog manipulates the person in a way to try to make that happen, so it's really yeah. kind of fascinating, you know, because yeah. the dog has, the dog has some food drive. Like, mm -hmm. even here, when she comes, she takes some time to warm up, but she has some food drive. Mm -hmm. So whatever's happening there with her, she needs to be coached through that because she's, right? She's like, I'm tired of my paw hurts. Yeah. Oh, you look so tired and relaxed. Mm -hmm. She's like, too relaxed now. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good. Well, very good. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I'm glad you brought your box. And yeah, thank you. Yes, that's absolutely. Awesome. And we did some great distractions with mm -hmm. these, too. So that's even, even better. She's getting very good with them, which is so heartening to see. I know, isn't that amazing? Because like, I'm blown away. She, yeah. And then think of the things that scare her the most. Or, mm -hmm. well, like for the, say for instance, the car or whatever. Then you take the basket in the car and you do the same thing. Like maybe you go back to just throwing her whole meal in there, like a whole cup full of food. Yeah. Or you throw half a cup in and then you ping the rest. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you just build it to, you know, you do the same evolution as we did without the whole box concept. Yeah where you're feeding her, but it's outside the car, and then so on and so on. But, and then, so the other thing that's really important too is, like you can always go back to, you can always go back to the beginning or back a few mm -hmm. steps. That's a huge part of the training process is going back to reaffirm those foundation steps, to just kind of like chink up the foundations on to make it more successful. Yeah. And, and that's huge, so. Yeah, very good. Yeah. But yeah, I'll send you the information because there's a, if you want to get pure raw food that's like kind of comes pre-packaged, she gets great. it from a number of different things, and she also has like cases of like leg quarters and things like that, mm -hmm. thighs, uh, wings, and stuff. And they deliver them to the um, the Gettysburg Sheets there mm -hmm. at the outlets. Oh, okay, yeah. Only once a month, yeah. That's so interesting. That yeah. they are of all places, yeah. I know. Well, she they travel all over. All she does is travel and drop off raw foods and dog food. Wow. Yeah. So. Oh, I did have one question for you, real quick. Yeah. Um, so Cable, you know how he has that lovely curly coat? Yes. And he's he's double coated. Uh, I was with some visit. My sister took him to the groomer this morning. They shaved him. Are you kidding me? He's all shaved off, and I mean it's. Oh my gosh! What groomer shaved a double coated dog? I don't Where know. You take it was her? terrible. It, it was this random woman that she met at like uh, the the um, what is it called the lake. Uh, the Lake Heritage Center, because uh -huh. she has a friend who lives there, so she was over there, oh, no. and, uh, so, and he's, you know, he's four years old now, he'll be five this year, we're a little bit worried about oh, it'll come back growing first. back, do you yeah. have any, like, th suggestions on how to make sure it doesn't have any issues growing back, because, I don't, because I don't really have any experience with that kind mm -hmm. of thing, I just know they say not to do it, but I know a lot of people do, so, because they can have issues, and, yeah. especially, I would just maybe worried. Google it for what it's worth, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a, I probably Google wine more than I should, but okay. No, she's not. Oh, that's so <laughs> there sweet. we go. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, she's like, all right, back to bed. This is my spot. I live here. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, this is all getting good. Yeah. That's perfect, though. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, this was so much fun. Thanks for coming out, and I'm glad we got to do it in here. It's far more fun than a Zoom call. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it was great. I did manage to because I did the Zoom call with um, Shane and with Dooley. And I figured out how to, my to mom showed me how to record oh, yeah. it. And it's yeah, so great because it did just the audio, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you can actually do the whole screen too. Yeah. Somehow, but. Well, I think it recorded the whole screen and then it divided it into the different things, which is so convenient because oh, all I really need. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so Mary, much. Oh, you're welcome. It was a pleasure. I was looking forward mm -hmm. to it. Thanks for accommodating my schedule changes and all that yes. stuff. And Yeah, no problem. Yeah, my
ready? Good? Good? Okay, well, leave it. Leave it. Just a violet. Come on, violet. Leave it. Leave it. done. Um, so this is my dog Vera. Um, she's already trying to get to the box to see the smell of the food that was in there. And um, I have a little um, scooper of her kibble here and I'm going to dump it in the box and just let her have her first experience um, feeding from the box. She's a scent detection dog so I can actually build this exercise with her as she gets like calmer and more focused and more intent on her job by actually adding her scent source to the box as I drop pieces of um, kibble or treat in, which will be kind of like the next phase. But anyway, here goes. I'm just gonna dump the box in, uh, sorry, the kibble into the box. And the other important thing that I did not mention yet is we need to have a word that tells the dog that it's finished. Um, we use the phrase A-L-L-D-O-N-E. So, when I say that, she's going to jump up and you'll see what I mean. Um, the release word is really important. If you go online and you watch other videos about this, you'll see a lot of uh, trainers use a click to return to them to release. Um, for our clients, we just teach a release word and that release word is going to tell the dog they're finished eating in the box and they should come away from the box so that I can pick it up and put it away. All right. So you'll see here, just like with um, Ellie, uh, Vera's laying down here. She put herself on an automatic down because she knows I like that and I'm talking and it's kind of what we do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and release her and then put this food in the box. All done. All done. So here you see a dog that's super motivated on its first experience to eat all the food out of the box. So again, just like with Ellie, if she pulls her head out of the box or lifts up out of it and stops eating what's in there, I'm gonna take it away and we'll continue on with the remainder of the food that's left over next time, taking it out and then dropping it back in. <clears throat> And again, the purpose of this is so that the dog creates that dopamine chemical, which promotes you know, the relaxation, the feel good, um, all those things that it can associate with this food experience with blinders on, filtering out all the stuff. And she's actually done, all done, all done. Good girl. And I'm gonna just take the box away. And that's all our first session is going to be comprised of. So it's really just as simple as that. Um, and as time goes on, you'll see more and more intensity build with this. I'll be able to actually you know, build distractions. We'll also show you some other dogs. I have some older dogs who also have some high food drive. But this is a great experience for young and old alike. Like every dog should experience this. Um, again, it's just a great concept to help a dog build its comfort level and then take that training experience with the box to other things that stress it, like loud noises, maybe other dogs, people, 
strange situations like cars or anything like that that create a little bit of anxiety for the dog because of the dopamine effect of this box, which is sometimes called the dopamine box, um, you'll be able to see some really huge improvements in how the dog feels overall in every aspect of its life. And I know that sounds really broad reaching, um, but that's how a lot of this um, you know, behavioral training is. Uh, it's, it's a way for the dog to just feel good on its own and be good on its own. Just like what you just saw. Like, if you follow my Facebook page and you know, kind of my trials and fun with Vera, um, you know, you know what an intense dog she is, and just by breed genetics, um, you know, Dutch Shepherd Malinois mix is a pretty intense dog. But you just saw her put herself into an anchor the dog um, position here because I'm talking, the leash is short, there's nothing else going on. So she's actually, if you can see this now, she's actually got her head laying on the floor totally relaxing and zoning out, which is an amazing thing to have a dog of this intensity be able to come in and out of this state of mind. And that's what it's really all about, is we want to have a really great state of mind. And for those of you who are watching the Anchor, Anchor the Dog, and all of our clients should be, and also anybody that's watching it online, she just came out of her first um, step, first phase of the Anchor the Dog. And if I stand here and talk long enough, and I'm boring enough, and quiet enough, um, as far as motion and stuff like that, she's gonna lay her head down again and totally relax again. And what I'd really like to see is that second step, that second phase of total relaxation. So just for fun, I'm gonna just stand here a little bit and see if she'll kind of relax herself. And again, I'm not gonna stare at her too much or kind of promote any engagement. This is the opposite of what we do with the fine focus first. Just that little tiny bit of movement of me shifting my body weight around caused her to wag her tail. Um, but there her head is down, so she's had two repetitions of our anchor the dog. And I'm going to release her out of it now. I don't want it to be too much of a wham that she's like too excited right away. I'm just going to step out of it and kind of release her. Come on, hold on. Great. All right. So that's kind of all there is to it. Um, we'll see you for the next feedings for these guys. And um, in the meantime,